Uh, we have been looking at uh, the place in destiny. The place in destiny. And I feel like we need to make a serious prayer about a place in a destiny. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I want to share, to, to share with us a few things and then we shall get up on our feet and pray in Jesus mighty mighty name. Hallelujah. Yesterday we said that before God created man he created places which means that every destiny must have a place of operation. Praise God. And I want us to look at uh, a scripture in John chapter 21 from verses um, 3 to verse 6. The Bible says, uh, I am going out to fish. Simon Peter told them, and they said, we will go with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Praise God. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize it was Jesus. He called out to them, friends, haven't you anything, have, haven't you anything, any fish? No, they answered. Verse 6. The Bible says, he said, throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find something. When they did, they were unable to hurt the net in because of the large number of fish. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at this kind of uh, a story where Jesus had spoken many times with his disciples that I'm going to die, but in three days I'll get up. I'll raise up. But, th but the time came and after he had died, when, they, when the disciples observed that, the Bible says, everyone went his way. Everyone went back and the man that was walking close to Jesus by the names of Peter also went back to fish and when he mentioned it that I'm going to fish the Bible says all his fellows they said we are going with you this man found us fishmen so and he took us and now he's dead let's go back again and to our job praise God when they went back, the Bible says that entire night they told for nothing. The entire night they didn't get anything from the waters. Praise God. But the good news is when Jesus came in the morning, the Bible says he asked them, friends, do you have anything today? And the Bible says they didn't know that this was Jesus. So when he asked them and said, please, we don't have anything, anything in verse 6. The Bible says, he, verse 6, he said, now, throw your nets once again. But I want, to, I want you to, to mark in your Bible the word, the right side. Praise God. Throw your net. Throw your net on the right side of the boat. Praise the Lord. In other words, in, your, when, in King James, it is it's looking nice. It says, cast the net on the right side of the boat. Praise God. These guys, we come to understand that the reason why they had caught nothing the entire night, their nets were not in the right place. Okay, they were fishing. Okay, they was using the same method. But when Jesus comes, he speaks something profound. He says, throw your net on the right side of the boat. It is so easy to throw your net for years and you didn't have anything and you don't get anything. Many people in life, they are doing things for years and they don't have results. Why? Some of them, their nets are in the wrong place. Their businesses are in the wrong place. Their ministries are in the wrong place. But when Jesus came, he spoke something profound. He said, cast thy net in the right side of the boat. And the Bible says when they cast their nets on the right side, 
they caught fish too much that they couldn't even manage to take away. Praise the Lord. No matter how many years you have worked for nothing, this week specifically the Lord is saying, cast your nets again. Do that business again in the name of Jesus. Because now we know that it is not about anything else. It's about a place. Praise God. The Bible says, cast your need again. And that is the message that I've brought to us this morning. That there is still hope in that same place that you are giving up with. This morning, the Lord is saying to somebody, don't quit. I have come. Cast your nets again. Do that business again. Hold on in that marriage again. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Because there is still hope in the right place. There is a reason why the Bible says on the right side of the boat. They were, their nets were on the wrong side of the boat. It is so easy for your nets to be on the wrong side of the boat. It is so easy. I have seen men and women who have been in ministry for years. But maybe they are nets are on the wrong side of the net, of, of the board. Praise God. But when Jesus came, he said, on the right side. On the right side. Come on, somebody, raise your hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, lead me to my right side where there is fruitfulness, where there is abundance in Jesus' name. Praise God. Give me Romans 9 verses 26. This is a profound scripture that I want us to look at. Romans chapter 9 verses 26. The Bible says, And it shall come to pass in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people. They shall be called sons of the living God. Somebody say in the same place. Somebody shouted in the same place. The Bible says it shall come to pass like today. The Bible says in the same place where it was said you are a failure. In that same place you shall be called victorious. It shall come to pass in the same place where they said you were vagabond. They shall say you are a champion in the same place place where they said you are nothing. They say you are now the lead of our family. Where they said you don't have destiny. They shall look for you and say you are our liberator. I'm talking about a place this morning. In the same place. The Bible says in the same place where you were known called my people. In that same place the thing will change. The story will change. And in the same place where you were, you, 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 you've been undermined, underlooked. This morning I have a message for somebody. That in the same place where you have cried from. May God make you joyless in the same place. In that place where you're renting, may God give you a piece of land and raise a flat there for the glory of God to manifest in the name of Jesus. In that same place where you've been worked in for years, may God do something and you become the CEO in that same place. Come on, shout hallelujah. Your family is a place where you've been look, you, you know, they have been treating you like nothing. Some of us. Some of you are listening to me. Your family didn't consider you. They, they actually, they don't take you serious. The, actually, the moment you said you're born again, they started looking at you like a mad person. But listen to me this morning. We are going to pray. Our prayer point is in the same place, Lord. Make me something. Praise the Lord. In the same place, Lord, make me something. If, let me tell you, my fellow ministers, you can be in a church and everyone is just despising you. It is so easy. It is so easy when actually your fellow ministers, they look at you and say, ah, that one doesn't have anywhere to go. But today, by the power of prayer, may God bless you in that same place. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. Romans chapter 9 verses 26. Okay, give me Hosea chapter 1 verses 10. And then we stand up and pray. Hosea chapter 1 verses 10. Hosea. The Bible says, Yet the number of children of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured and numbered. And it shall come to pass in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people. There it shall be said to them, you are the sons of the most high God. Praise God. In the same place, in the same place where you have slept hungry, may God use you to feed thousands in that place. Uh -uh, let me prophesy to somebody. In that same place where they have seen you struggling, may God this morning raise your bar, raise your standard, and feed thousands there. In the same place where you are renting now, 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 may God do a miracle for you. In that same place. Let me tell you, there is, there is an honor. There is a privilege. There is that thing that comes upon you when God is raising you in the same place. Praise God. Witnesses are there. You have witnesses. Many of them. Many of them. They say, we saw that woman. I pray today that there, there shall be a story in the community saying, we saw that man. He was just walking here every morning, going to church to pray. But today is the biggest man in the community. Today is the richest man in the community. Today he drives a Mercedes Benz. Today is the father of the fatherless. Today, may God create that story this morning. In the name of Jesus. I said may God create that story this morning. I said may God create on, ah, that story on you today. In the name of Jesus. In that same place you shall see God. Hallelujah. In that same place you shall see God. Why Jesus has joined you now. Jesus is speaking to us this morning. That take heart. In that same place I will raise you. Praise God. Hallelujah. One day I went back to the village where I was born. After many years. Because people used to look at me when I was like five, six. And I was so tiny and you know I had no life in me. And people used to think I'm going to die the next day. Praise God. People saw me sleeping in a tree. People saw me when I had nothing to eat. But this time around, of recent, some two years back, I went back there. I didn't have a car. But I made sure I hired a Mercedes Benz. ML. Praise the Lord. I hired ML 300 and said, take me back to my city. To my village where I was coming. Where I came from. And when I reached it there, when we started approaching the people I know, I told the guy reduce the speed go slow let the glory of God go high let the praises of God go high I want these guys to know that if there is a man to pray there is a God to answer if there is a man to believe God God has never failed anybody reduce the speed go slow let those who say I'm going to die tomorrow see the glory of God oh mighty God and God did it for me on that day everyone was around praise the Lord everyone was home some of them they were in the meeting village meetings you, you see you see you, you, you know those circles in the village so many women they were they had come in the circles and I said oh my God the other one I know the other one I, I said reduce the speed okay you go, you go, you go, you go. Let's go to them. Let's, let, let me go and say hello to them. And when he reached it there, I said, pack. And I got my perfume. I added it. It started smelling. And, and I removed the first leg. The shoe was shining of like the bishop now. And I, the first leg out. 
and it's what it took like two minutes when the, the second the second the second one has not come out let them first feel the glory of the shoe and then I brought the second one and I caused the tension everyone was saying who has come who is this and I remember the glory of God when I got out like this Women looked at me and busted in tears. People started crying. And I said, okay, though I have put on expensively and my perfume is so expensive, uh, but I'm going to hug every person here, though they are dirty and smelling, uh, but I'm going to give a hug to everyone. And I used to, but I, you could feel that people, they don't want to go away from your chest, from the perfume. Because, you know, guy, I was smelling like some fruit. I was smelling good. And then I went back to my car. I got my bag. I started giving out money. It was not much. I was giving like $5 to everybody. But I made sure I am giving them in dollars. I carried dollars with me in my village. Dollars. I want them to suffer with it. I want them to, I want them to take, because some of them, they don't know dollars. They have never seen anything like a dollar. So I said, I'm going to give out dollars. I said, Mama, you helped me many years ago. I used to steal your cassava. May God bless you. Mama, ah, you helped me so much. I used to eat your free jackfruit. May God bless you so much. And then I went with some guy. I said, bring our stuff. We had carried sugar. We had carried rice. And I said, give them, give them, give them. And I saw people. A one woman asked me, I said, TK, what did you do? I testified. I said, I was a poor man. But I met a God who raises men. I gave my life to Jesus. I am a servant of the Most High God. And people gave their life to Jesus. 16 people gave their lives to Jesus immediately. May God take you back in your place with glory. May God take you back in the place where you used to be undermined in another level in the name of Jesus. If you're the one I'm talking to, get up on your feet and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, today, today, lead my feet in the same place with glory with glory may God take you back to your village and build there a hospital for the people to be treated for free somebody you are in this house under my voice you have a dream to put a big a big school where you are coming from by this time next year God shall do it for you in the name of Jesus may God take you back in glory somebody claim it begin to claim it begin to claim it begin to claim it say in the name of Jesus I am getting back in that place in glory in glory in the same place where you were nothing may God make you something somebody pray 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 it may be at your workplace right now that you are in the low level you are in the low position but in that same place I have good news that God will elevate you God will promote you in the name of